All right, guys, so we're working on diversifying our videos here. We're not just gonna do jujitsu techniques. The goal is to do functional movement and get you guys moving like I move. And that's gonna help out with all of our techniques. The one thing I really prioritize in my movement is my ability to low squat. Not necessarily a child squat with our heels down, but just being able to get our heels to our butt, right? Being able to close that gap from here to here and being able to move around in that low squat position is gonna be really important to a lot of our Jiu Jitsu techniques. We often don't have the luxury of extending our legs in a powerful squat position, nor do we want to. From a guard position, if I extend my heels away from my butt, my leg gets long and it makes my guard much more passable. So our effort is always to be strong in this range where we're not exceeding 90 degrees in any direction, right? When we pass 90 here or we pass 90 here, our guard becomes much more passable. So today we're gonna focus on what we call a stealth walk. And a stealth walk is, is, is a relatively challenging technique, but it's one that's very practical and one we can scale up from a very beginner level to a very advanced level. And it looks like this. All right, here we go. The first step is gonna be getting as low as we possibly can. And we're doing almost like a duck walk but we're gonna take one foot in front of the other, reach in front, take a step, we open our hips, put our hand on the mat or the grass, big long step around to the outside, hitting that pistol squat position with a raised heel, hand comes down, we switch to the other side, big step, lead hand, lead foot, step, working our way down the mat. The next level is gonna be trying to go without using our hands. Okay, much more difficult. We're trying to take a step, nice and balanced, working our way down our training surface. Again, making sure we're always prioritizing that heel to butt position, staying nice and low. There's no quad strength here, no hip strength elevating us. We're just sagging on our legs, all right? The last and most difficult part is gonna be hitting that L-sit position and balancing for a second or two before progressing forward. It looks like this. All the way down, hit that position, we hold. Step, open, step, hold. Step, open, step, hold. It's gonna help our balance, coordination, um, lower leg strength, and all that good stuff we need for our jiu-jitsu techniques. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Try it.